a collection of short stories that's actually pretty good. Ooh, yaoi review. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about Stolen Hearts by Hikari Hanam Hanami and Miki Kanamaru. All right, I'm going to read the back for you, then we'll delve into it, and I'll give you guys the nitty gritty. Life is good as the son of an aristocrat. All the money and free time offers everything one could want. Elegant accommodations, fine clothing, sumptuous food and drink, smashing parties, as many sexual partners as you can count. But for one particular upper crust snob, priorities have, are about to change. When a forthright, a forthright and noble thief comes a calling, he leaves behind the air of mystery that's too hard to resist. What is the sky the sly rogue's connection to the fate of the crown? What does any of it have to do with inspecting the elite-born son's bottom? Could it be he's truly the thief of hearts who wears a mask to hide his desires? Yakami Hanade, artist of Rin and constellations in my palm, and Maikai Kono presents a slightly broadly tale of cat and mouse set against an historical backdrop of proper set where even a thief may learn. Sometimes what's stolen can never be returned includes a bonus stories. So this is pretty much a collection of three short stories. The title story is Stolen Heart. Now the first story is very compelling. It's along the lines of noir except for the main point of the thief's objective is just to check the bottoms of a whole bunch of different noble men that noble young men who are around the country. We discover why later on when he right. when he stops his impersonator his from the, taking what is rightfully his so as we continue with this story we discover that he has noble ties to the original crown that the french throne had stolen and it's very interesting the way it ends is very romantic very sweet i loved it i absolutely did love this one uh, the second story is a school romance where one boy has been very laxing and forgetting about things, forgets about a makeup exam, and gets punished by being sent to the school council to balance their books, pretty much to become treasurer. Well, apparently at the school, being part of the school council and all of this stuff is a horrific punishment because no one does it. Again, another very sweet romance. It involves... Two brothers who end up falling for the same guy. Very cute. It has a very strong beginning, middle, and end. And it is a short story. I think it's like maybe 10, 15 pages. It's compelling. Um, it's set in modern day. There isn't anything too odd about it. It kind of reminds me of Orin Host Club in a way. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, the last story is... Oh, it's about a politician, a gay politician in Washington. Well, his assistant, a gay, a, a politician's gay assistant who's fallen in love with him and doesn't have the courage to tell him. Until one night at dinner when something very shocking happens and it becomes a frontline news. This one, again, has a good beginning, middle, and end and ends on a very high, cute note. But also, because I was watching House of Cards, which is a Netflix original series, and I'm madly in love with it, you learn, and you see a lot of similarities between this politician in this one, and the politician in House of Cards. That's all I'm going to say in the matter when it regards to that. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked this story. It's not 5 out of 5, because I don't like short stories, even when they feel really complete, and it doesn't leave me wanting more by the end. Well, actually, this did leave me wanting more. Like, I wanted second continuations of the mini stories because the main title story ended really well. The middle, the two other ones felt like they could have been a spin off series and kept going and going and going. I absolutely loved them. So, I recommend picking it up. It is a great addition to anyone's collection. It's not going to hurt you to have it. And I will probably end up rereading this once I get some free time from not reading New Yowies. So, Yes, check it out. Leave now, you guys, leave me a like, a favorite, a subscription, and give me a comment down below if you want to know more details about this or any of the other yaois that I've talked about. 
I will respond. I don't have much of a life. So if you guys do leave me that, it'll make me very happy to let me know you're watching my videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!